12 ways creatures beat the heat. Number 12. Thundering Herd. In 2008, London's Richmond Park resembled a scene from an African wildlife park. Scorching temperatures spurred herds of red deer to rush to a stream to cool off. The park is home to some 300 red deer and 350 fallow deer. The animals have been allowed to roam freely about the 2,300 acre grounds for over 400 years. Just don't get in the way when they're thirsty. Number 11. A whale of a tail. A beluga whale took it upon himself to cool off his audience when things got too hot. Visitors at Hakajima Sea Paradise Water Park in Tokyo were sweltering in the summer heat when the show's star attraction, the beluga whale, rose out of its pool and blasted the crowd with a strong spray of water, making many people scatter and wince. The beluga whale is known as an arctic and subarctic cetacean, noted for its all-white coloring and lack of a dorsal fin. And as you can tell, these creatures are known to be friendly and a bit mischievous at times. Number 10. Dung beetles. Known for pushing weights more than 50 times heavier than themselves, this insect has a way of keeping cool after all that exertion of rolling dung balls around. The beetle treats itself to a break by climbing on top of the moist dung ball whenever their front legs and heads overheat. Researchers noted that the beetles engaged in a type of preening behavior, which they suspect involves the insect regurgitating liquid over its legs and head to cool down even further. While using a dung ball to cool off works fine for the beetles, Many of us would prefer a less crappy alternative. Number 9. Wood Frogs of Alaska So we're talking about how animals manage to maintain the cool, but here's a creature that never has to worry about keeping its cool. Wood frogs found in Alaska managed to stay cold for almost seven months. From laboratory studies, researchers discovered that wood frogs accomplished this by using the glucose that is packed in the cells. This works to prevent water loss and stabilize the cells. Compared to their test subject counterparts, wild frogs were found to have glucose concentrations that were up to 13 times higher. The process is called cryoprotection. Animals like the wood frogs use glucose as a way to protect themselves from damage that might be caused by extreme low temperatures. Number 8. Dogs. And how does our best friend manage to keep cool in hot weather? Well, we all know the answer to this one, right? Dogs punt, not just because we expect them to, but because it's how they release heat. They also do sweat on areas uncovered by fur, like the nose and paw pads. And did you know our canine companions also have sweat glands associated with all hair follicles on their body? They're called apocrine glands, and the function isn't entirely known as yet. But it's thought these glands might produce pheromones, or individual body signals that allow dogs to communicate with each other. And you thought cats were the sneaky ones, right? Number seven, cats. So speaking of our feline friends, cats have sweat glands in the paws that help them cool down. And while cats groom, by licking themselves, the process has even greater meaning in hot weather. The saliva evaporating on the cat's fur provides an effect similar to sweat evaporating off of human skin. Like dogs, cats will also pant, but only if it's very hot. And excessive panting or grooming could indicate an onset of heat stroke, so mind the kitty's behavior regarding that. Number six, dust bath. Did you know elephants create their own sunblock? After wallowing in mud, elephants will liberally apply copious amounts of dust, using the trunk to fling it all over the body. The thick mud cakes up on the body and allows the big animals to cool down. It also serves to remove bugs and parasites from the skin. And dust bathing is practiced by many other animals as well, including birds, bison, horses, dogs, and cats. Number five. The biggest chill. If you're looking for a way to really beat the heat, just wait a few years. It seems every creature on Earth is going to have a long time to cool off. Contrary to global warming, climate researchers in Russia think the world could be plunged into a cooling period that could last around 250 years. Scientists at Pulkovo Observatory of St. Petersburg believe that every 200 years, the sun's activity wanes temporarily, causing less heat to be emitted. Researchers claim they've already detected signs of decreased solar activity, so bundle up. The last time this occurred was between 1650 and 1850, 
1970, a period of time known as the Little Ice Age. The next cool down could start between 2030 and 2040, according to the researcher's estimates. The good news is this cooling period is unlikely to be as harsh as the last one. Still, 250 years, that's a long time to chill out. Number four. Silver ants. Any creatures making their home in the Sahara and Sinai deserts like these ants do definitely need a way to beat the heat. Unlike many animals that have to seek shade or shelter from the intense sun, these ants will begin foraging during the hottest periods of the day. Known for the chrome-like bodies, scientists always suspected the metallic lacquer played a part in helping the ants withstand brutal desert temperatures. But it wasn't just that. Turns out these ants are covered with tiny silver triangular hairs all over the body, which not only produces that shiny appearance, but also serves to prevent heat and sunlight from reaching the ants' insides. The hairs essentially serve as tiny silver mirrors bouncing light away from the ant. Researchers found that in some cases, the hairs could reflect almost 100% of the light aimed at it. Number three, happy as a pig in mud. So these animals are well known to spend plenty of time in the mud, right? So what's the attraction? Well, while porkers don't have much in the way of sweat glands, they do have high body fat and the torsos tend to retain heat. Wallowing in mud has a more cooling effect than taking a dip in the pool since mud will evaporate more slowly off the animal's body than water, allowing for a longer cool down. Researchers also think pigs use mud baths as a way to remove parasites like lice or ticks and might even rub their scent glands in the mud as a way of marking territory. Number two, red flat bark beetle. Here's a creature that never seems to come in from the cold. These North American beetles are found from as far north as the Arctic Circle to as far south as the Carolinas. With a range like that, it's no surprise these insects have managed to develop a tolerance to extreme cold temperatures. They store proteins in their tissues along with glycerol, a sugary alcohol that's actually the foundation for many antifreeze products. This allows the insect to reduce its metabolism and attain a state of dehydration. The process decreases the amount of water available to freeze while increasing amounts of glycerol and antifreeze proteins. Individual beetles are known to withstand temperatures as low as minus 72 degrees, and their larvae can withstand temperatures down to minus 148 degrees. Number one. Big Cool Cat. The tiger is one of the most famous animals with stripes, and even though you can't see its entire pattern in this picture from WWF India, the stripes are there, trust us. That's because this one at Manas National Park in India has just indulged in a mud bath. You see the gray stuff covering its face and lower half of its body? Well, the drying mud will help the cat keep its cool as it goes searching for its evening meal. Like the domestic cat, the big cats will also lick the fur in an effort to cool off. The activity also serves to groom themselves and removes bugs and insects. Most people think tigers are pretty chill anyway, and this one has the mud bath to prove it. 